Hi. Uh, today's video is all about um, a question that I think I get asked every time I go fishing with somebody. And that is, Mike, Mr. Lantra, what fly should I use today? Or you start off, what fly should we use? What should we be using? And, you know, the proper answer is, you know, lift up a rock, shake the trees, do what? And I know most beginners, uh, they might be able to shake a rock or do whatever they're going to do. And they're still not going to get, you know, they still won't know what to start with. So I'm going to tell you what flies to start with. And, you know, with all the new flies and you go into a fly shop and you say, what fly should I use today? Uh, you'll walk out with a handful of flies, you know, quite a few flies. Um, and I'll tell you my go-to flies that I come back to over and over again. Hundreds of beginners have caught fish on these flies, and they're the most basic flies in the world. And uh, in, in fact, I have a little in my, in my bag with my fly rod, I always have a little stash of flies that in case I forget my bag, do whatever, I have this little stash of flies. And mostly, I don't know if you can see what's in there, but it's mostly little ants, kind of Chernobyls, uh, and a bunch of just beadhead nymphs in there. It's a couple little woolly buggers and stuff too. But it's, a, it's just a little box, just, you know, a tiny little box uh, that in case I get jammed, these are the flies that just always do it. And so my go-to system is if I'm going out fishing with somebody new who hasn't really fished a lot, or even some people who have fished a lot, and I don't know exactly what's going on in the river. I've turned over rocks. I, you know, in certain certain rivers, I know exactly what's hatching and what isn't. But sometimes the fish aren't interested in that. So my go-to system is pretty straightforward. It's an ant. These are these are what we used to call ants. I don't know what they're called now. You can buy these in a hardware store. It's an ant with a dropper hanging on it and a little bead heads nymph okay and this can be any kind of where's my where's my lens i'm looking for the lens okay and uh it's just any kind of bead bead head bead head nymph let's see if i can focus does this thing actually focus no okay so uh this i have it on it's about a foot and a half of uh line uh, it's tied around the bend. Uh, this is very, very easy to do. Just look at some of my older videos. I show you this under my hopper dropper uh, system. Uh, but basically, you start with an ant and a beadhead nymph, and eventually you're going to catch something. And if it's you start catching stuff on the nymph, then you go to something underwater. If you start catching something on the ant, then go to some top water things. Um, and this will get you through most of the year in most places. There's always ants and there's always little, you know, sort of beadhead nymph type uh, creatures in there. This one happens to be just uh, one, it's peacock curl and some fibers. Um, and that's pretty much a little green wormy thing is basically a caddis. And there's caddis in most every kind of water smallmouth bass or trout but this is the first thing i do and um and i'm just not going to beat around the bush and say you know do this and do that start off with the simple stuff uh you you can if you're into tying uh these babies can be tied in literally seconds i teach elementary school kids how to tie and this is the first thing i teach them how to tie because then we go out we throw their line out under the water, doesn't matter how they cast. This is flickering around on the surface, and at least a bluegill is going to come and catch it, if not a bass and any and, and any other kind of animal. Or not animal, any other kind of fish. Um, but uh, uh, this is this has been my go-to for 20-some years, and the hopper dropper has been right behind that. If I take a group out fishing for the first time, it's their first fishing trip, this is pretty much how I start them out. It sounds dorky, 
It's not very exotic. It doesn't change any games. It doesn't thrump any mat mattresses. It's just a simple ant and a nymph. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you have good times fishing.